hydrogen bonds okay so in this space what we are looking at is the uh, it involves actually the rotation around the different axis namely the axis of perpendicular to the helical axis what we are looking at this is the perpendicular axis this is the helix axis so this uh, this is a normal situation when they these axes are in a simple plane simple two different uh, planes but what happens when this axis one of the axis changes so the so the horizontal axis in this uh, case is a slightly tilted in few angle few degree that that results in the twisting of the hydrogen bonds as we uh, all know the hydrogen bonds we draw hydrogen bonds like this but normally in this situation what we can look at so the hydrogen bond is slightly getting tilted like that in this picture you can look at this is the hydrogen bond which is getting tilted uh, because uh, which is getting twisted because of the tilting of this a or adenine base and slight tiltation of this thymine base too so this this uh, slightly twist uh, which uh, which just change uh, uh, the orientation of the hydrogen bond uh, is called the propeller twist okay so though uh, the hydrogen bonds become distorted but they never uh, get shriveled up they yet remain intact so that's what i my my message to you that they get a, they are getting distorted but they remain intact so they do not usually break via the propeller twist okay in terms of dna stabilization energy the amount of stabilizing energy contributed by the base stacking is significantly greater than that forms the hydrogen bond again this message is uh, is putting in your, into your mind because you have to put it into your mind and uh, tell the mind that uh, this that is the basic significance of making the stacking interaction so stronger because this is uh, this is actually donating the main or most of the part uh, rather than the hydrogen bonding part you have the bases this is the this is a hydrogen bonding it will interact with each other so normal twist is there uh, normal rotation is there to align the bases in such a way that they can form hydrogen bonds but the propeller twist uh, helps to align these bonds helps to stack these bases much more efficiently because they need to stack with each other via the hydrophobic interactions so in the first uh, situation when we discuss about this 36 degree twist this twist helps uh, twist help uh, the hydro those bases to form hydrogen bonds to form hydrogen bonds and after the formation of the hydrogen bond propeller twist helps uh, for interacting those uh, those nitrogenous bases together to make a stacking interaction much more stronger this is the basic conception